This video is brought to you by Diesel Sims. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Cell Price Trigger. This mod can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub and it is PC only. Sorry console players. So this mod really reminds me of, of a mod we had back early days in Farm Sim 17. And what that mod would do is it would show a table on your screen of basically the current sales price for particular commodities and then show you the highest price seen and basically tell you is it trending up or trending down. The game was updated in 17, broke that mod. Sadly enough, it never came back. But hot dog, we have the equivalent now in Farm Sim 19. This is something I have been looking forward to and hoping someone would do for a long time. And guess what? Congratulations, it is here. All right, so let's talk about what does it do. So left alt O will bring up the sell price triggers menu. Here we see a table showing all of the current bill types available on the map. We also have hay pellets and straw pellets showing up because we have straw harvest mod activated. So what does this tell us? tells us that there is a pretty good likeliness this mod will work for multi-fruit maps, multi-crop maps. Have I tested it? No. Will I be testing it? No. Do all these mod reviews on Ravenport for a reason. I try to minimize basically the potential conflicts. So try it on your favorite multi-fruit map. See if it comes up. Try it with your gameplay. It should show the Maze Plus stuff. It should show any other map or mod that introduces a selling commodity it should show up in this table. Will it? Can't guarantee it, but it should. Now, we also have the all-time high price that this mod has seen that particular commodity at. This mod does not have the ability to go back into the future, or sorry, into the past. Not a time traveler, doesn't have a DeLorean. So it starts with the all time high being the current high price when you activate the mod. It has no idea what the best price has ever been prior to its activation. Going forward though, it will keep track of the best price and update this all-time high table with whatever the best price was or currently is seen to date. Next column is our trigger price. See that for most of these, it is disabled because we don't have a best price trigger set. Now, I did set one for barley just to see how this mod worked earlier. 353 was at that time the best price this mod had seen. Subsequently, the price has increased to 381 as far as an all time high price. So we can come in here and we can hit disable, and that will disable the trigger for barley. Come in here, we can set a new trigger to something. We can set it to the current all time high on record 199. We can increase that in by order of single digits or by order of tens. We want to set the new all time high price of 288 for potatoes. We can do that. We can also go here and reset the all time high price in general. So, why might you want to do that? Maybe you have inserted a new mod that changes the economy of the game. And therefore, any pre-existing all-time highs would be irrelevant. Maybe you have loaded the game up in normal mode on 
farm manager, sorry, on new farmer, but by default, you like to play on hard mode. Well, all the normal mode prices are gonna basically be irrelevant for hard mode. So you wanna go in here and you wanna reset the all time high. You can also go here and set the key assignment on or off. Basically that will show or not show you the F1 menu help for how to get into this. Go ahead and hit okay. The F1 menu, there it says SPT, show menu, left alt O. Again, that's how we get into this. Now, let's take a look at the prices screen. And let's see where we're at. So potatoes. Potatoes are pretty low right now. We're not going to see an all-time high of 280 anytime soon. Let's see. Soybeans are 967. Okay. Let's go ahead and just set soybeans. I don't want to be alerted when the price is above 960 say I think that's a great price so I want to know whenever soybeans are above 960 so you see the all-time high price was 985 but I don't care so let's set that to the all-time high 985 and then let's increment this down to 960 so I'm gonna be alerted anytime the price is over 960 and here we have in the upper right corner soybeans it's 967 at the ranch so that is basically what the warning is going to look like now it goes away i think it goes away a little bit too quick i would like to see that stay up for quite a long time because i don't know about you my gameplay i'm not going to necessarily notice that so quickly it'd be cool if maybe it popped it up more prominently but then i'm sure other people would have problems with that so i just think maybe if the, the wording was up there for a little bit longer it might help keep us aware now there is a way that you can customize the look or should i say the color of that alert and that is defined within your save game in a new xml file that shows up after you save the game the first time after activating this mod. So let's take a look at that. So I've opened up the cell price trigger.xml that is contained within this particular save game slot, the save game folder. And you can see it's pretty basic. We have up here at the top, cell price triggers, show on help equals true. Obviously if we set that to false, when the game was closed and saved it, it would be the same as going in the menu and saying, don't show help one information. Then we have RGB and then we have values. These are basically percentages. This is how you could change the color of that alert notice. Now you'll, in the description, it says, you can change notification color by editing RGB in the XML. Okay, RGB right here. But it doesn't give you much more information than that. So I went looking, trying to figure out what, what is this? What is this? R, RGB of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. Well, apparently this is denoting color as a percent of RGB. So I'm going to put a link to a website that I found when I was trying to get this set up for this video that maybe will help explain that. But basically, there are so many ways of displaying a color value. There's hex, which is the pound, and then a series of numbers and characters. There is RGB numerical, which is each entry, R, G, and B, is stated within a value of 2 to 255. And then there's RGB percent. And the way this would read, it would be R of 10%, G of 10%, and B of 50%. And there's CMY, CMYX. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. So I'm not a color expert. I barely know red, blue, green, yellow, white, and black, okay? That's the extent of my color range. 
but I'm going to put that website in. If you want to change the color to something, you can basically figure out what color in hex or what color in RGB 0 to 255 range. Okay. Then plug it into this website and basically it'll tell you what the RGB percent values are. And then you can plug those in here. We also then have the table of the fill types. We have the price equals zero here. Price equals 353. So that is our target trigger price. And we have the highest price seen to date for all the various fill types documented in here. Every time you save the game, this file is going to update. So let's go ahead and do that just to demonstrate. File, save. We bring this file back up. Yes, it's been modified. And now remember, we cleared that out. We added 960 here. We added 288 there. So now the values are back. Guys, that is sell price trigger. I am super excited to see this in because I tell you, every time I go here, I go to the prices screen, I'm like, mm, man, is that a good price for, for wheat? 422? I don't remember. I don't keep track. I'm not the kind of person that writes down the best price every day that they've ever seen to kind of keep track to know is 422 really the best price? I don't remember. I mean, it seems like a pretty good price. I might be willing to sell it. I might sell a bunch. And then next day it's like 468. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I'd have known this. Now you can because sell price trigger, keep record, and know so far 451 last two or three game days that I've fast forwarded has been the best price for wheat. You guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of sell price trigger? And until next time, happy farming.